When do I start? Handbrake. Handbrake. Welcome to the glove. I'm on my way. Pitcher can't change that. Oh yeah, and the lefties can try and hide that. But all I need to do is look at the and go, I know where I'm going to go. Because I can pinpoint when you're going to pull that thing out. And I'm going to go to that reaction. I'll find a way. But we'll go, we're starting then. We're not starting to wait. We're not stay at worst. We're on our way. And in the microseconds it takes me to come down, I'll have pitch recognition. I can recognize seams. And I'm going to have a pretty good idea what's going on. I've got 16 year old hitters that can tell you slider out of a pitcher's hand. And when I know the, the one in question, so when he says, yeah, I saw it out of his hand, I don't doubt it at all. Because suddenly if you're moving right and there's nothing in your way, we talk vision gets better. If I'm balanced, my mind can stay on the focus and I absorb the big picture. I'm not like fighting to like see seems it's just got them, <laughs> right? We teach pitch recognition kit from 12 on. The minute they're going to see spin, hey, get used to it. Dear guys, we all went to bullpens, right? Go get some bullpens in. Man, that's the best thing you can give a hitter. But please get them body armor. You know, pitchers, sometimes the bullpens aren't the best things to hit off of, or visual. But they got two things. You've got your go, go, and then just don't pick up the pin. Learn. Practice. I love machine work from a point of really taking it to the limit, overtraining. But unfortunately, you can't read spin. But it's something we can pick up. And it's just a matter of just absorbing, not like really super rugged. Okay, you'll see it. Like, oh, okay. But if I make the right move, it allows me to see it. And if I stay in balance, that clarity is big. And then you can actually pick up things or suddenly you see things that you can see because you don't have a lot of things going on. And we're going to talk about that because you've got all this big stuff going on. There's too much <coughs> going on. That's going to impact your ability to pick this up. You will actually, there are times where I can see, I saw the fingers up, change up. So I, like, okay. And you absorb it. You don't go, oh, change up. It's too late. It's just, you just learn to like, okay, you anticipate what movement's going to happen. So when you think about timing, is it, Fastball timing, or when the hands break, I go, and it's just recognition at that point. I'm on. It's like I'm just going. And I'm going. On, if you throw 95, I'm going on 95. Okay. Because I know that if I first, I'm not missing your fastball. Okay, I'm on that fastball timing. I will adjust because okay, so they're like, oh, got spin. You get that good, they will. I said, can't do it. I tell you, kids can do it. So hands break, ready for 95. And ready then for 95? And you spin, then you be over, and, you'll, yeah. and at the worst case, you ride. Yeah. Worst case, like, oops. Yeah. Gotcha. Because if I'm riding, it's, a chain, it's not going to be a fastball. It's going to be spin. And all I need to do is just go through spin. I don't have to look pretty. That back goes through spin like that, I win. Now, you saw Sanchez last night, you know? It's just put on the, okay, I'm on your fastball, oops. But that, he didn't think about it, just you start learning how to just let it all happen. When we talk about the hinge and all that. Athletes just react because they can. But they don't put their body in a position where it can't work. Because the hand, that, all that stuff may not happen if muscles are firing, battling a pedestal, and you're, and you're basically lunging forward. I'm, my body's not balanced. And when we talk about moving forward, we're not talking lunging. We're talking moved balance. So the more you move, the better it is. 